Hello everyone, it is Darkseeker here again. Welcome back for another video. Today we are playing Fatigue Druid on the Wild Mode ladder. And this is now one of my favourite decks in the game. Um, what's the point of the deck? What's the objective? Well, you basically ramp up and then you survive the onslaught from your opponent. Um, and then you go to Fatigue and you run them out of cards and you shuffle some Jade Idols into your deck they're out of cards, you develop Jade Golems, and you win the game. Um, you win the Fatigue Ward. That's that's the idea behind it, hence the name Fatigue Druid. Um, now, the recent Witchwood expansion has given this deck a couple of cool tools. Ferocious Howl, awesome card. It's armor gain and it's card draw for three cost. That's really good value. Um, and now one of my favorite cards in the game, Mossy Horror. Uh, which essentially will kill minions that have two or less attack. Uh, and this goes really well with Poison Seeds. So you can Poison Seeds a big threatening board and then Mossy Horror away the board. Um, Mossy Horror also just very good on its own against Agra decks. Agra Paladin, Dude Paladin. It's really, really good against them. Um, and I don't think people are used to this card yet, so they don't see it coming. So it's quite a nice surprise when you play it. Um, so yeah, fun deck, um, you know, you've got double naturalize in this deck too, so you can punish slow control decks, uh, you can make them overdraw. Uh, so yeah, really, really cool deck, um, double sludge belcher for a bit of added taunt protection, Sylvanas in this deck just because she seems good at stealing big enemy threats. And Aya and Jade Idol, one copy of Jade Idol only. Those are your two Jade cards in the deck. So we're going to look at one highlight of this deck in action. We're going to join this game part way through because these games are very long. And it's against a Warlock. Now, as you can no see here, he's developing threats. And I'm looking at that board. Um, and I'm thinking, okay, I need to do something here. I need to do something that will. Uh, well, we need. I want to get rid of Sylvanas, firstly. Um, he is a Doom Guard on board as well. And one thing that scares me about the Doom Guard is. Um, is the cube and the dark pact. It's really dangerous for us. Uh, so, what I'm thinking about here is I'm going to bring a demon out. I'm actually naturalizing the Void Caller. And there's Malganis, and now we poison seeds that ball. That, ladies and gentlemen, is my first use of poison seeds in this game. Okay, and we got good value out of it. But here's the thing about poison seeds. Two things. Firstly, you have to be very careful about when you use it against these kind of decks. Uh, you have to calculate very carefully the optimal time to use it. This may not have been the optimal time, but I thought it was a, a ideal, given how much pressure I was under. Secondly, um, you know, he's going to uh, he's going to play Enzoth and Gul'dan, and that's a problem because remember something here: Poison Seeds does not polymorph the minions; it kills the minions, so they can be resurrected. If Poison Seeds was akin to a polymorph effect, it would be so broken, i.e., those minions can't be resummoned. But it's not. It kills them and then summons those 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 two twos. Uh, so yeah, all of those minions that died, the uh, the Malganis, the uh, you know, the, the demons, uh, the Sylvanas, they will come back to life later in this game. And I only have one poison seeds left. So that's an important consideration. What am I going to do when Enzov comes down? Okay, if I have to use my last remaining poison seeds uh, when he re when he plays Gul'dan, right? So there's there's considerations there that are important. Decision making is absolutely key. I haven't played many games with this deck, so I'm a bit of a noob. I'm a bit new with it. Um, but anyway, there's poison. There's, there's my poison seeds. That's what I was hunting for because I know what's coming next, or I know what's coming very shortly, right? Um, so I decided to draw cards rather than to gain armor. Double Belcher in this deck, it, it gives you a bit of time to stall, um, which is important. No ends off, so you don't get any death battle minions back. But that's not the point in this deck. Um, 
the, the other thing to consider is the number of Jade cards. There's only one copy of Jade Idol and Aya. So here's the deal. Aya you play whenever you can. She's a solid threat. She does get the Jade Army going slightly. Uh, but Jade Idol you wait, you hold until the end of the game. And when you are in fatigue, when you are in fatigue, and when you're both running out of cards, that's when you start shuffling Jade Idols and then slowly start building the Golem Army. And at that point, your opponent's out of threats, they're out of cards, then you are slowly building that Golem Army on the board, and then you start hitting the face, and you start doing a bit of damage each turn, and you win. Often by that point, they just concede. But this is not a normal Jade Druid deck. Um, Normal Jade Druid, by this point in the game, would have much more than a 1-1 one, one Jade Golem on the board. They'd have 4-4s, four 5-5s, fives, fives. Yeah, Jade Behemoth, Jade Spirit, they'd have, they'd have more, Jade Blossom. They'd have played more Jade cards. This is not a Jade deck, this is a Fatigue deck, and it's about lasting into the late, 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 late game. Now, three Void Lords on board. And notice that I'm prioritizing on killing Doomguard. Why? What do I fear? I fear the cube. I fear Dark Pact. I fear charging Doomguards. Um, and when he plays Gul'dan, he gets those Doomguards back and they all charge my face and just die. So, playing Naturalize there lost him a cube. That's actually really important. Now I played Spreading Plague. It doesn't get me much value here. It just blocks 9 damage. Um, which you could argue is not that significant. But look at what he's investing in. He's investing a Spellstone as well and a Dark Bomb. So 3 trades, a Spellstone and a Dark Bomb just to get rid of those 3 taunts. That's actually pretty cool. Um, I mean obviously he only had 3 bodies on board so I had 3 taunts. Maybe I should have waited a little bit longer for him to fill the board with more stuff. Um, but he may not do that. I mean, he, he seems like a smart player. We're at rank 5. He seems pretty smart. Uh, <laughs> he may just hold out for as long as he can um, with a thin board rather than a wide board. Again, fearing spreading plague. So, at this juncture, I'm just gaining armor. Gaining armor. Happy to gain. <clears throat> So, I have Poison Seeds. My final copy of Poison Seeds is in hand, and I um, need to decide very carefully about when to use it. This right here, this is not a board for Poison Seeds. Um, I have to wait until he plays Gul'dan, or until he plays uh, Enzoth. And there is... Gul'dan. Interesting that he plays Gul'dan when he still has three of those left on board. Okay, he was looking for Doomguard value. See, that's what I was afraid of with the cubes. I was afraid that just an army of, 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 of Doomguards would arrive on the board. So now this is a poison seed. Of course, <laughs> he gets all of the taunts. And we destroy it. Feels Nicely good. Done. So Mossy Horror did a good job, and there is Enzoth, but oh dear for him. There are no there are no Void Lords. There are no fat taunts on the board. We're pretty happy about this. And I think this would signify that we probably now win the game. So just casually shuffling, preparing for the fatigue war that's coming. And instead of playing Spreading Plague, I'm happy to play the second Mossy Horror, just to get value on it. Also, assuming now that there are no demons left in this deck, there were none. Excuse the motorcycle that is uh, making a lot of noise outside there. Um, so, saving the Spreading Plague, happy to get the value on the Mossy Horror.
And now I'm curious about his hand. And I'm curious about uh, whether he's got demons left. My assumption, based on what we've seen so far in this game, is that he will have nothing left. So, I'm just happy to play Sylvanas as a body and as somewhat of a threat. And to start killing his minions. And yes, there is nothing coming out of his hand. There are no demons in his deck. Enzoth has been played. Gul'dan has been played. He is screwed now. And this is why, you know, I thought this was a good example of a game to show you, to highlight. Uh, you run them out of threats. And you win the game. Interesting that, well, my Sylvanas now takes a 3-4. <laughs> so that's good, I guess, for me. So we steal. And get face. And the shuffling strategy worked out, because now we're drawing the Jade Idols. He's fatiguing. And now we will very slowly build a Jade Arm. So. Well, I guess we should shuffle. Shuffling is good. And here come the Jade Golems. Notice that they are quite small at this point in the game. Usually if you play Jade Druid, your Jade, your jade Golems would be much bigger at this point. You know, they'd be 8 8 9 nines maybe. You'd have played other Jade cards. But this is where we now start our Jade Army, late in the game. And he may have a few AoE tools left, like Hellfire. You know, defile as you can see. So he's clearing stuff. Good for him. But he's fatiguing. And I'm not fatiguing. That's the key thing. I also have armor gain, so I can negate his hero power. There's no reason to attack his face. The jades will uh, they'll do that for me. Fatigue will also dent his face as well. Obviously, if they play Skulking Geist, you're screwed. But who plays Skulking Geist these days? And the last gasp here from the Warlock, doing whatever he can to survive. Final bits of investment. Yeah, it's over. For now. So that was a really cool game for me, at least. It was a fun game. Um, wasn't necessarily played perfectly as I reflect back on it, but I think in the end, you know, the use of poison seeds was reasonable. Uh, it, it's it's tricky to get right. Poison seeds, the double poison seeds, is your big opportunity to clear boards, and uh, your only your only real opportunity is to clear boards, and so you have to get them right. Um, obviously, against aggro decks that play lower attack minions, mossy horrors also act as board clears. Um, but yeah, Poison Seeds clears big minions, Mossy Horror clears small minions. You've got to time both of them correctly, depending on the matchup that you're in. Um, and against, you know, against uh, Q-Block, you, you know, the use of Poison Seeds has to be sort of thought about ever so carefully. Um, interesting that only one Jade Idol is running this deck. Only one Jade Idol is needed for your fatigue strategy. Uh, only one Ultimate Infestation is is running this deck. I guess you could argue that only one is needed. Sometimes having more than one UI is, just makes you clunky, uh, because if, especially if you end up with both of them in your hand and you can't clear your hand quick enough. Uh, you, they just sort of both sit there and do nothing. It's a bit awkward. Um, but yeah, this is a, a fun deck to play. It's effective, certainly. Sometimes against aggro, you can just get absolutely overrun. Um, and despite some initial armor gain from branching pods, some initial taunt action from Ironwood Golem, you can still just get absolutely hammered and overrun. I mean, I've had games against Dude Paladin that I've won, I've had games that I've lost because despite double mossy horror to, to clear low attack minions, despite poison seeds to clear buffed up dudes, um, the Paladin just still refills the board again and again and again and again and again and then buffs them up and kills me. 
Mm. So there's not much you can do there. But yeah, I'm sure with a bit of refinement, uh, Fatigue Druid uh, can still be a, a major player. So thank you very much for joining me, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please subscribe. I'd be ever so grateful. And I'll see you guys all again very soon for more Wild Mode Fun.